Welcome back, everybody. It's Sunny D and Drop G with Metal Combat. We're in bout three of round one. Today, we're doing Jai Luka versus Devil Loof. So just a quick recap of the rules. Any moment in the video that invokes a reaction will score points. After we get through the reactions, then we'll award bonus points at the end and cover what we just saw and who we believe deserves to go on to the next round. But most of the points are going to be scored by you guys going down to the comment section. There will be two comments posted, one for Devaloof, one for Jai Luka. Simply like that comment, scores it a point. Band with the most points moves on to the next round. Okay. I say let's just go into it because I don't know anything about these bands. I can't even assume what they're going to sound like. So let's just go. Music video is already cool. Ooh, Genty. Oh, that's a point. Crazy. Get some reflections vibe. Hell yeah. It's like a truck. somewhere else yeah here it comes damn it thank you there it is oh like fucking skrillex that's cool dude They're all the main characters. I got 40 seconds. Oh. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> Jesus. 
Okay. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, they get a point for that blast beat section at the end for sure, dude. I love that that uh because I've never heard this band before, so maybe that like kind of Skrillex style like breakdown that they had is like their thing. But I wasn't expecting that to come. I was expecting more like what actually came at the end, at least yeah. something in that esque. And they actually uh, brought it at the end. I would say the only con I had with that was it like it really didn't stop. It just like yeah, it was hard going. to like catch a groove. The one part that I yeah. could kind of like that I really gravitated toward was that like very genty groovy riff. Yeah. And then obviously the blast beat and I like it. I'll have to check out more of their stuff. But like if it's if I'm being fair, if it's kind of formulaic to where like every song is just insert dubstep breakdown here, I would get super bored. Yeah. For a first time listen, that really surprised me though. That was like a yeah, yeah. That was a fun ride, definitely. Yeah, that was absolutely. I'm just saying. I could see what you're saying. Like it could yeah, get yeah. a little gimmicky if it like if that's the only thing they do. But right uh, for now, I'm pretty excited. I mean, it, and that's what this is all about. We're listening to these bands for the first time. I would say uh, that really excited me to listen to more. To be honest, all these bands have done that so far. It's really crazy. I haven't found one that isn't. I, I mean, Love Bites was probably the lowest excitement out of all of them. All right, so next up is Devaloof, some weird Japanese symbols that I don't know how to read. That's the name of the song. Yeah, if anybody would like to translate for us, uh, greatly appreciated. Let us know I down in Google. the comments. Yep, but let's get into it. I, I think that that last one's going to be hard to beat, but true, you never know. This is some pretty standard MySpace deathcore. Dragging a body. <laughs> Is Devaloof a reference to something? I don't know. Let us know. some black metal I mean they're rocking out in the forest with a bunch of fog oh yeah dude That part went on a little too long. Point for the weird ass fucking. I like his headdress. He gets a point. <laughs> wow, that can't be good on the cords, man. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. 
That's a flight. I kind of slapped it. Holy shit, man. Uh, it's like all these bands are like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, yeah, we've uh, we took a wrong turn from uh, <laughs> Hannah B. and Debo Phila. <laughs> In a fucking great way, though. No, yeah. I love the fucking uh, old school death metal vibes to that. Yeah, very black, it dude. And it was like, yeah, it goes back to our original joke. Uh, go check out our podcast. But I was right, dude. That one vocal section that admittedly went on just a little too long. But if it doesn't sound like cats fucking in a dumpster, can you even call it black metal? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, there was some um there was some slam element to it yeah. a little yeah. bit. There was definitely some like death metal. I heard it got a little black in, I caught a little cradle of filth, like a little sprinkle. Like yeah, like some, filth. some dim you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, just a little crazy, dude. Like watching the video, I'm, I'm, I actually like, are they just really good actors or are these one of these bands that's like actually lives this life? You know about what I mean? About that life? Just are they about that people? life? It, are um, his teeth bloody all the time? Like I'm even, just, even after I'm just he brushes happy his that teeth? there's like these rebellious teenagers in Japan that are upsetting their parents. Yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah yeah this is uh very surprising i i didn't know that uh anything like this was coming out of japan it, it's no it's it not makes surprising me happy dude because is. this is like this is like the grimy shit that i live for yeah it's you not surprising I mean? that uh, of course i think everywhere in the world i think you can go to uzbekistan and you can find a band like this but the fact that this has 3.2 million views on YouTube is the part that surprises me. Yeah. You know, like well, that's the part like it act and they have 67 K subscribers. Like that's not, that's pretty to tough to do. At. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's, it's a uh, actually like a, there's a level of success that they've hit with the sound and everything like that. So, it is That's wild to me if someone like could provide some clarity because I've always been fascinated with the metal scene in Japan. Is it pretty prominent? Because if you look at, you know, even watching animes, dude, like there's a lot of progressive like metal elements in like those opening cutscenes of like animes and stuff. Like, yeah, I feel like across the board, like a lot of them do enjoy like some level of metal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, yeah. I wonder. I, it'd be interesting to like take a deep dive into just the history of it and what it is today. Cause actually, I, I don't know if like people in this scene in Japan realize in the United States, metal's kind of dead. You know what I mean? In the yeah. grand scheme of things, yeah. metal's not on the radio, it's not on TV. The only people who listens to metal are people who know about metal. There's no new. It's really hard, rare you find newcomers into yeah. the scene. Um, we would like to have more, but sounds like from what we're getting in comments and things like that, there actually is a thriving scene that's pulling in newcomers in Japan 
which may be a little bit different or more more th- thriving more than the U.S. scene. At yeah. least that I know of now. But well, to the competition though. Go ahead. I Sorry. feel like Japan and America have this weird symbiotic relationship where they they really try to like pull influence from each other in certain yeah. aspects. Because like this, I mean, I don't know how long this band could have been around, but this band easily, who knows, could have been. You know, they heard Lorna Shore for the first time, and that was like life changing for them. Yeah, you know I, mean, I mean, this song is five years old. At least the video is. So, damn. I okay, mean. so they <laughs> they've earned their stripes, dude. Probably yeah. got some They're not brand new bodies buried somewhere. Okay, so that was enough of a rant. I'm genuinely blown away by both these bands, and they're completely different styles in a good way, but yeah. on the harder end of the spectrum. I think it was a good pairing. Actually, so even though it was random, actually, this was a good pairing because they you can actually put one against the other. And maybe I don't know who I would give, man, because um, I think both of them excited listen, me the same. I I think I had more fun with Devil Loof. Really? Now, if you if you pick Jai Luca, I totally understand that. I think I would pick Jai Luca. OK, yeah, I, I like I was going to say. I don't know, but I think that just comes down to personal preference for me. I just liked, um, I'm more interested in what Jai Luca might do at this point. Their music was like so surprising. There was nothing really surprising in this for me, despite the fact that this is just a Japanese band and doing this like slam fucking death metal. I've never heard That's that fair. before. Jai Luca, I think, is doing like that Skrillex thing. I know there's bands that have tried that type of thing, but I think they executed it better than I've ever heard it. So I'd like to see what what else they they do with that type of sound. So and I'll 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 give Jai Luca a bonus point for implementing a lot of different flavors into yeah, one yeah, thing. Yeah. They had a lot going on in there between Jet, um dubstep they had some symphonic elements both bands have a great aesthetic in my opinion i think both bands have like it's almost like hair metals back yeah yeah you know what i mean um this obviously with a little more black in flavor but i think for jai luca that last like kind of breakdown where they went kind of like they just went dark went to the church yeah the blast beat at the end that's what like I went oh like when they did that I was like this band's capable of a lot like yeah, they they got yeah. a lot of sounds in their arsenal I think that if they didn't have that last like twenty second run I probably would have chose Devil Oof but so I'm gonna stand by my decision I'm gonna stand by my decision I'm going with Devil Oof on this one they just they they ticked a l- couple more boxes for me okay. but they both earn points at the end so really it's just up to you guys remember. Yeah. Two you comments. truly are the tiebreaker here. Head down to the comments section. One for Devil Oof, one for Jai Luca. Each like earns a point. The band with the most points moves on to the next round. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Hey, guys. If you want to see some more of our reactions and discover some new bands, be sure to click the card on the left. If you want to check out our long-form metal podcast, be sure to click the card on the right. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>